this might get me hate comments. I don't know. But it's my opinion. And you guys remember when I said that we weren't going to drop any lower than decent at the start of this whole saga marathon? Well, this is the weakest of the entire franchise. And I have a bit of a bone to pick with this one. So, without further ado, let's not waste any more time and just dive right in. What's up? What's happening? What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to Animation Station, your number one such as your fan came in animation, including two or more Super Saiyans fighting for the fate of the Earth. Welcome to the final saga, the true conclusion of Dragon Ball Z, with the Boo Saga, or Majin Boo Saga, whichever you prefer. I'm just going to say right now that this is the weakest saga in the entire franchise. Not including GT, because like I said, I would rather not torture myself. But up to this point, I can easily say it's the weakest saga of Z, and it's the weakest of the sagas that I'm actually willing to review. So, why do I have such a bone to pick with this? Well, sit back, relax, and allow me... To show you why, and probably one of the longest written reviews I've ever done. So, enjoy. Ever since the defeat of Cell, the Earth has enjoyed another much needed time of peace. Gohan is now a teenager and has become a superhero. This is where the great Saiyan man comes from. Chi Chi has given birth to a second child named Goten. I'll talk more about that in my little pest later. Future Trunks went back to his timeline, Vegeta has been domesticated, Krillin has gotten hitched to Android 18 and has a daughter named Marin. Goku is still dead, residing in Otherworld along with King Kai, who he killed when he took Cell to their planet to explode. Yeah, it's confusing. Roshi is still Roshi, current timeline Trunks is now a toddler, and the, and the Tenkaichi Budokai tournament has returned. In celebration of this, everyone reunites, including Goku, who Baba temporarily resurrects from Otherworld for one, for one day to participate in the tournament. Unfortunately, though, another evil emerges from the shadows, including one who threatens to tear their entire team apart from the inside out, as one of their strongest warriors now becomes one of their greatest challenges yet. Unfortunately, the Boo Saga is nowhere near the quality of the rest of Z for more than a few reasons. The pacing is agonizingly slow. Gohan's character D evolvement is infuriating and ruins the ending of the previous saga. The story after a very strong start drags its feet. The writing has taken a fall backwards with some pretty cringy and unfunny lines. The second act is way too long. The new characters are very hit and miss, Goten and Trunks especially being the worst of them, who are relentlessly unlikable and extremely freaking annoying. The fights after the start are flat out bad, with only a few standouts here and there, like Vegito vs. Buhan and Goku vs. Kid Buu for the most notable of the examples. The new villain Boo, while threatening and unique, sadly is just okay and nothing more, especially when he becomes a very bland, perfect cell knockoff. The plot recycling is abundant and obnoxiously lazy. The world building outside of the introduction of the Kaioshin and the introduction of Fusion is almost non-existent. The rewatchability is low overall. Like, watching it from start to finish overall, rewatchability is low. And it's incredibly scatterbrained with little to no consistency whatsoever. And not to mention on top of that, the terrible final episode that makes no sense and leads into the awful Dragon Ball GT, which isn't even canon. Making that entire final episode and final whatever thing completely freaking pointless. Not to mention Goku acting wildly out of character. But even with that said, does that mean that this saga lacks any good moments of all? Any good moments at all? Of course not. There are still some great aspects buried underneath all these numerous issues. 
The start is great. The Goku versus Majin Vegeta fight is incredible. Vegeta's sacrifice is emotional and does an amazing job capping off his character arc, being his final time as a bad guy before he turns into a full-on protagonist. The final battle against Kid Buu is excellent. The Kaioshin are great additions. The kills are extremely brutal, like Saiyan Saga brutal. There's still some good laughs. Goku and Vegeta's banter especially is hilarious. Vegito is all kinds of awesome. The one cool fusion, and then Gotenks is the one stupid crappy one. Gohan's dialogue with Boo is fantastic. You know, the whole fights you know I want to kill you line? Yeah, that's awesome. But his actual fight with Boo is just okay. There's still a lot of shocking moments that'll keep you on the edge of your seat. The voice acting is still great, the animation is still good, and still some very satisfying character arc conclusions can be found here. Sadly though, I have to look at all of these sagas as a whole in these reviews. And unfortunately, this one is a borderline disaster. It has its great moments and it's by no means unwatchable, but it's a lousy ending to the Z era of this franchise and severely lacks in rewatch re value outside of key moments. Not even the fillerless, fillerless Dragon Ball Z Kai The Final Chapters, with its much more polished dub, could improve this complete and utter mess. A one and done at most out of curiosity and to fill in the time gap between the end of Z and the start of Battle of Gods. But afterwards, just skip it. It's not worth rewatching, and it's just far too messy to be enjoyable. Easily the weakest saga of the entire franchise. That I'm willing to review. Like I said, I'm not touching GT. So, yeah. That's pretty much all my thoughts on the Boo Saga. It's messy, it's inconsistent, and it, it really lacks in rewatch value. It has its great moments, it has some standout parts, but as a whole, it's a one and done. It is a disappointment, and it's the worst saga of all the ones we have to review. So for that, it gets a disappointing final verdict of a 6 out of 10. It is a one and done, it is decent at best. Heck, probably, if it didn't have all those great iconic moments in there, it would probably drop even lower, a 5, or heck, maybe even a 4, because of how much it disappointed me. Coming off the heels of the freaking excellent Cell Saga, which was supposed to be the ending of Z. But no, you want to make this the ending instead? Really? Really? It's a lousy ending to Z. Z deserved much better than that. Well, I'm done, and that's all the reviews for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Animation Station for more videos like this almost every single day. And stay tuned because we still have one final video for today, and it's a pretty big one. We are going to be live streaming the brand new update to Sonic Frontiers. I'm excited. I'll see you guys next time when we tackle Sonic Frontiers The Final Horizon.